Right now at 5, a child kicked and punched, assaulted right outside a local supermarket. And New Haven police say it was all done by his own father. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live in the Elm City with what we are learning tonight. Matt. Hi there, Stephanie and Mark. Well, here's where it all went down outside this supermarket in New Haven's Hill neighborhood. This father accused of kicking, punching, grabbing his 12-year-old child by the hair and dragging them along the ground. Police say it all happened out here in public with those nearby and officers rushing to the child's side. Right now it's just an allegation. Using crutches to stand next to his attorney, Kareem Smalls kept quiet, accused of beating up his 12-year-old in a supermarket parking lot. The child suffered very serious injuries. According to New Haven, police officers were dispatched to Key Food on Greenwich Avenue Thursday afternoon. The first thing he allegedly yelled out is, I don't want to get beat when he started to run away. Police say video footage shows Smalls, a 42-year-old father of five, kicking and punching the child. Dragging the child by the hair, dragging the child, striking him across the face with a set of keys. We're told Smalls, who is a convicted felon, including for illegal possession of a pistol, ignored officers' commands and tried to walk away, with police deploying a canine to take him down. The child suffered swelling to their face and arms and complained of head and leg pain. And the prosecutor says, based on the child appearing to have prior injuries, there could be additional charges. A hospital doctor indicating past injuries. I know that there is continued investigation. That continued investigation can't even begin because the child is still hospitalized. The allegations leaving those in New Haven's Hill neighborhood shaking their heads. Anybody who hurts a kid, I don't love them. Now, that child is still in the hospital recovering from those injuries. The judge kept the bond set at a quarter million dollars. Kareem Smalls is due back in court on August 19th. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.